When we look back at the founding of the school, which is September 9th, 1946, the Trinitarians really had a vision. And that vision was not their own. Their vision was connected with the vision of St. John de Matha, the founder of the Trinitarians and the patron of our school. The 75th anniversary is a diamond anniversary. And diamonds are hard won, and they are incredibly precious and valuable. And when you think about de Matha, one de Matha, a place that is incredible that it even exists. It's knowledge, hard won, and yet at the same time, a remarkably valuable place. You know what, whenever I hear the word Damatha, it certainly brings a sense of pride to me because the one word that comes to mind is excellent. I do know that DeMatha in the early years may have been recognized for all of its athletic accomplishments, but how awesome to see that it is spread to cover every discipline, academic and athletic. That is an awesome reputation to have. Whenever I hear the word DeMatha, I, I, I strictly think of the word pride. Um, just proud to have been there, proud to be from there, proud of where it's gonna be years from now. When I hear the word DeMatha, a lot of great things come to mind. First and foremost, our pillars, faith, community, service, academics, arts, and athletics. We have a great story to tell here at DeMatha. I really do believe that. And that's what comes to mind is the story of this school. And the reason why I stay, you know, connected with the school and, and continue to try and do things to help out is because I think the story is so powerful. I'm the first one in my family that did not go to Gonzaga. Morgan came and watched us play in the championship game in CYO. And uh, right after that, he invited my dad and I to come out to the school. And I was just so impressed with everybody I met. For a kid from College Park, the math was always the school for me. Thinking of any place else was impossible and it never entered my mind. Attending the math was innate and I never looked back. My experience there as a student, 75 to 77, and then as a faculty member, uh, you know, 82 to 87, was extremely powerful. But I always felt there was a family atmosphere, still to this day. The math of guys are my brothers, and I'm very, very proud of being a stag. I'm probably one of the few alumni who had absolutely no choice in coming to DeMatha. I chose a different school, which I won't name, uh, freshman year in high school. I was, let's say, not doing well at that school. I was in trouble both inside and outside the classroom. And I woke up over Christmas break and my parents called me into the living room and my dad said to me, you're going to DeMatha. You know, for some reason, I was pretty resistant to what my parents wanted me to do at that point. I didn't resist at all, and thank God. High school can be a turbulent time for a lot of folks, and, you know, as I reflect back and think about the math, I think of what kind of a solid foundation it put me on. You know, life goes pretty quick after that. I mean, you get to college and suddenly you start making career moves, and, you know, it's, it's a very important time. Those are, again, formative years. And I, I think that DeMatha was the stable environment, that building block, and put me on a on the path to, to where I am today. And going to an all-boys school didn't seem that weird. Uh, as time went on, I guess, it was something you thought about. But I thought it was great. I had no problem being buddies with a bunch of guys and doing crazy things that guys do. And we didn't have the distraction, you know, like John Moylan used to say, uh, you know, Going to school with girls is like doing your homework with the TV on. I mean, you just, you just can't focus. Um, being able to dress in shirt and tie and blazers, I thought was another aspect of regimentation that certainly was accepted to my father because he was the first sergeant in the United States Army. Uh, we did not leave the house unless the shoes, you can see your face in your shoes and the creases in your pants. So the mother followed that tradition for us to say that this was a good thing. The Trinitarians have just done an outstanding job on DeMatha High. If you look around at this wonderful campus, how it's grown, the many new buildings, it's a real tribute to the Trinitarian order. It is so special what the Trinitarians have built here in Hyattsville, Maryland. DeMatha Catholic High School was a game changer for me and so many other people. Like Father Luke Manella, who really 
put on what is important in terms of thinking, trying to become a good thinker, trying to develop your own talents. Who are you? And have faith. And I look at the guys that, that make it special. You know, look at, you know, Mr. Moylan, um, Morgan, Buck, uh, Smitty, uh, Mr. Macheski, uh, all these great teachers and men that are great examples. It's amazing that we get these guys. And what I also like is we get a lot of guys coming back to DeMatha to coach and to teach, you know. And I owe so much of my career to John Mitchell, who led the DeMatha Music Department for a remarkable 40 years and was such an influential and inspiring teacher. I'm proud to have gone to DeMatha. Uh, and moreover, I'm proud of what the school has become, uh, that it has achieved not just athletic excellence that everyone knows about, but academic and musical excellence as well. The Mathis next 25 years are filled with hope and great expectations. We will not allow each other to rest on our laurels. We get better every day because standing still is not an option. The DeMatha way demands we find a way to win. So when you look at the track record of DeMatha to display excellence in every facet of what they're all about, the future looks great. And I don't think there is anybody who can doubt that the job that they have done has been superb. I want to congratulate DeMatha on 75 years of excellence. Congratulations. 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 I want to congratulate DeMatha. Congratulations. Congratulations. Congratulations, DeMatha, on 75 great years. Here's to 75 more.